today we're going to make a old recipe. It's going to be a cowboy beans, or some people will call it an old seller's baked beans. Um, we're going to get started now. We're going to start off with one pound of 80-20 ground beef. We've got four slices of bacon here. I'm just going to cut these into little pieces. It's a great way of using your scissors. And we've taken one medium onion and we've chopped it up. I'm going to turn our uh, heat on to medium and we're going to brown this up, making sure we get all the pink out of the hamburger. Our meat and stuff is finished cooking. We're going to go ahead and sit down in a crock pot. In this crock pot, we put a liner. We want to make sure that the uh, ketchup and stuff doesn't stain the sides of the liner. It's also much easier to clean that way. The hamburger didn't have much fat in it, mostly just a little bit of water. So we just went ahead and dumped that all in there. We're going to go ahead and put one can of candy beans, one can of great northern beans, one can of pork and beans. One third cup of sugar, one half cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of ketchup, one fourth a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce, one tablespoon of mustard, Two tablespoons of honey. If you don't have honey, you can use molasses. All right, stick that in there. So we're also gonna put one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of salt. And mix this all together real well so everything is uh, mixed up together properly. If you enjoy recipes like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our page. Make sure you hit the uh, notification bell on the side so you're notified whenever we uh, upload new content. Um, we're going to cook this on high for two hours, or you can cook it on low for four hours. We're going to go ahead and get it cooking. All right, it's been, it's been two hours. Take the lid off that. We're going to take some of this soup, stick it in our pot, stick it in our bowl, I mean. It smells divine. All right, take a look at that. If you enjoy recipes like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe, and we hope you enjoy this recipe.